that I have to work out. <laughs> I have to work out because I ate a lot last night. So, sabi ko parang kailangan ko nang kailangan ko mag-workout today. <laughs> and I did. Well, your thoughts become your words and your words become your actions. I had sweet and sour chicken with rice. Oh yeah. I think I auditioned for a specific commercial and then nakasabay ko lang yung friend ko and then we decided to go to the audition and then I remember I was like shaking in front of these people that I didn't know. Tapos parang they were making me face that way and then that way. Tapos parang wala. Hindi ko, hindi ko nakuha. And I also auditioned for pitch, I think, before I became an artista. Yes. I was on the um, Asian cruise before. Meron kaming shoot for Maalaala Mo Kaya. This was the Zanjo episode. And then I brought my mom with me. And then that was my first time to actually go to a ball. Kasi parang at the end of every parang cruise experience, parang merong captain's gala that you have to attend to. And then I attended that gala. And it was so much fun because I was with my mom. And that was actually the first time that I met um, Mark Nigdao. Parang he was just a trainee, parang ganun at that time. So parang one of those days na sobrang bored, tapos na yung shoot, he came up to me. We were at the parang pool area and then asked me if I wanted to do a photo shoot with him. And that, at that time, I was so bored. So I was like, I was like, I was like, And then when the pictures came out, sobrang ganda nila na na-feature siya sa Philippine Star. First ever, I don't remember na. But one of those mga most um, unforgettable siguro was with Mark Dittau pa rin for Metro. It was shot in Intramuros. Para siyang movie. So that's why sobrang favorite ko because para siyang freestyle. Para sinusundan lang ako ni Mark sa Intramuros. And sabi niya lang parang act like somebody's chasing you. And so para ito so much fun. <laughs> yes, Spice Girls. Oh, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Sick and sick. Uh, you wanna be my lover? <laughs> Hindi ko alam if this is right, but parang kahit kung bata pa ako, pinapainom kami ng kape ng mom ko rin. Hindi ko alam kung ginagawa pa rin to na lahat ng tao, pero pag kumakain ako, especially dito, like, pag yung mga dry na ano, like, dangit o kaya ng tuyo, isasabaw mo yung kape sa kanin. Yun yung masarap. That's what I've always done before. That's why I love coffee. Well, apartments. Yeah, mga apartment buildings. Yes, I remember. Hindi pa ako nalo-launch as an artista. Nag-workshop pa lang ako noon. And then, um, they wanted to guest us and time and before siguro siguro gusto nila para siyang look test din or screen test they wanted to know how we looked like on camera to know kung sino yung groom nila or kung sino yung maganda yung rehisto sa camera we were called to guest in this show horror show siya and then of course i didn't have a car so sumabay lang kami dun sa ano sa service diba so we were called to be dun sa meeting point or meeting area ng 4.30 a.m. And then, so na kami sa location, mga 7 a.m., pinagsuot na nila ako ng Darna costume. And of course, hindi yung Darna na, no? diba? Yung mas, yung corset lang, and then, pang bata, kasi I was only 13 years old. Tapos nasa Antipolo kami. Ay, Tanay Rizal, not Antipolo, Tanay. Nasa cave kasi yung location. So, walang concept ng day and night. So, inabot kami hanggang 9 a.m. Nakadar na costume pa rin ako. Pero hindi, ako naku hindi pa ako nakukunan. Tapos as in, yung pinapak na ako ng mga lamok doon. Kasi wala pang standby area. Wala pang mga air-conditioned tents before. Ganyan. So, the next day, kinunan ako 9 a.m. Naglakad lang ako sa gilid. Parang may isang ano speaking line lang ako. Isa lang. So, anyway, nung palabas na yung show, buong pamilya ko, buong barangay namin, nakatun in dun sa show. <laughs> Talagang pinapanood namin kung kailan ako lalabas. Oh my God, na-edit out. Pinagyabang ko pa naman sa mga kapit-bahay namin na artista na ako. <laughs> na-edit out yung part ko. <laughs> yung mga classmates, katuloy yung mga kapit-bahay namin, sinasabi nila na hindi naman daw totoong artista ako. Naggagawa-gawa lang daw ako ng story. <laughs> Nakakatawa. <laughs> so, ever since then, nisip ko, I, I would never tell a soul about yun ang nangyayari sa 